Hi, this is Lane from the Cromwell Radio Group. We're joined by Deb from Genesis Animal Rescue. Hello, Deb. Hi, how are you? Man? I'm very well, thank Good. you. Thanks for coming in. You brought a very special guest with you as well. Yes, Can you I tell have. us about this guy? This is Moose, and Moose came to uh, my husband and I as, as a rescue, as a foster dog, uh, eight and a half years ago. And he was a very young, two plus year old. I would say puppy, lab spay puppies for a long time. He came to us in his situation, I can explain a little bit more about some of our other dogs that we've had in the past, but Moose came from a family, and so he was pretty well adjusted in terms of uh, liking people, and the family had children, and the reason that he was given up was because the mom was having a third baby and they didn't think that they had time for him. And he knows we're talking about it. So, <laughs> so um, he came to us and he, he was wonderful with children and with people, adults, and anyone. He was great. But he knew absolutely nothing. And so we need, we have to teach dogs and, well, cats, you don't work with that in that way. But if you foster dogs, you teach them basic behaviors like sit, lie down, stay, working on a leash, that sort of thing. So he didn't know any of that. And he had uh, kind of been allowed to do whatever we wanted, whenever we wanted, whenever he wanted to do it. So we had some um, interesting moments, to put it that way. And he finally decided that I, I could be trusted and I, he responded beautifully. And then once, once a dog understands um, some of the basic commands, then he and he is highly food motivated. First key issue is to find out what motivates that particular animal. Yeah. It was pretty easy with him. Food. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sometimes it's affection. Yeah. Sometimes it's something different. Um, so you find out what does it. Maybe it's a ball. You, know, you throw. You, you get them to do something. You throw a ball or yeah. a stick or whatever. So his was food. So once he began to learn lie down, sit, stay, then it sort of uh, snowballs and other behaviors come even more quickly. Yeah. So then he started, he learned so quickly after a while that, um, and he was so friendly that he was uh, asked to, to come with me, it was mostly him. Uh, to do various fundraisers for yeah. Genesis and um, to greet people and that kind of thing. So he he has been um, involved with Genesis as fundraiser, sort of poster child from time to time. He's for, kind of a, an ambassador for an, an Genesis Animal Rescue. Right. Uh, to find out more details about Genesis Animal Rescue, uh, your website? The website is www.genesisanimalrescue.org. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for coming in. Thank you so much for having me. The video series is brought to you by Fetchers. We thank Moose also for coming in and uh, being the star of this particular video. <laughs>